we are going to do two to one breathing this morning. So, you know, this practice is, is especially good for anyone who's feeling kind of jacked up by any kind of energy, anxiety, uh, some kind of stress, you know, holidays can be kind of a tough time for people as well. It's, um, it's a practice that helps to downregulate the nervous system. So anytime that we're feeling kind of uh, overactivated, overheated, agitated, angry, stressed, the way the nervous system works is that it, it needs about six seconds on the exhalation to fully engage the relaxation response so that the sympathetic nervous system has a chance to come in and do its work. So what we're going to do in the practice is we'll do a little one-to-one -one breathing. So one-to-one -one meaning the exhalation and the inhalation are about the same length. We want to be breathing diaphragmatically. Um, and so if you're doing this lying down, a lot of people do this as a Shavasana practice. That's fine. And you can also do it sitting up as long as you're able to be relaxed and have enough room to breathe. So head, neck, and trunk fairly upright. We'll start with some simple breath awareness and regulating the exhale and inhale to about the same length. And then we'll go to the longer exhalation. The only kind of um, caution on this one is if there's um, a lot of depression or really low energy that you wouldn't want to do this a lot. It's okay to do it if you're feeling kind of activated, but if you have depression, you wouldn't want to be overdoing the exhalation all the time, it would be more healthy to do an even breath pattern in that case. So the exhalation, the longer exhalation, it is where the parasympathetic nervous system comes in. It stimulates the vagus nerve when we breathe, especially when we breathe through the nose. And that's the whole system in our nervous, in our bodies, our body mind, the nervous system. That's the whole system of regulating and calming and releasing stress. So, so become aware of your body from head to toes. Notice the environment in your body. There's the sensory perceptions, the touch, the feeling of the air on your skin, your clothes, the pressure on the back of your body where you're supported by a chair or the floor, however it is that you're positioned. There's the breath, the exhale and the inhale, and how the, the breath moves through the nose. We can feel the flow of the breath in the nose, that coolness as we inhale and the warmth as we exhale. And we can also notice the rhythm and, and the movement of the body with the breath. And we can notice that there's space all around our body. That when we breathe in, we're breathing in some of the environment outside the body and, and we breathe that air out into the environment. And see if you can notice the boundary of your body, the skin. Bring your attention to that for a moment. And notice there's space all around the skin of the body. There's space on the inside. We may have an image of the body. or we may not. So as we bring our attention to the body, being aware of the space the body is occupying and of the movement of the breath in the body. Being also aware of the, the watching, the observing of the breath that we're doing. Ideally, the mind is relaxed and very focused, awake and alert. If the mind wanders away, just bring it back. No harm done. That's part of what the mind does, just bring it back. 
So as we're beginning just in this first couple of minutes, you might have already noticed that your breath has slowed a bit. It's very common for that to happen. So we don't really slow the breath in terms of contracting the stomach as we breathe out to make the exhalation longer. We really just relax all of those muscles and then allow the breath to become longer and smoother on its own. And check to see if the breath is continuous and smooth. Ideally, there are no breaks or pauses in the breath. There's no jerkiness in the breath. And if there is, that simply indicates that there's some stress. And as we relax, that very often smooths out. The continuity of the breath is something that we can pay attention to as you come to the end of the exhalation. Move smoothly into the inhalation. When you finish breathing in, let go of the breath. Let the exhalation begin without any hesitation or pauses. Many of us have developed patterns of breathing where we habitually hold the breath at the end of the exhale or at the end of the inhale. And if that's the case, that's fine. It's just a pattern that we've developed and we can bring mindfulness to it and allow that to be more continuous with our attention. Not putting any effort into the breath, not putting too much effort into this practice. Kind of a light touch of awareness and attention on the breathing. And then begin to count the length of your exhalation. Notice how many seconds that you're breathing out. Notice how many seconds that you're breathing in. And see if you can start to match the length of your inhalation with the length of your exhalation. So not trying to make it longer at this point, really just noticing how long the exhalation is right now and allow the inhalation to be about the same length. Letting the mind really focus on this continuous, smooth, even breathing pattern. Counting the length of the exhalation in your mind. Smooth transition to the inhalation, counting the length of the inhalation to be about the same. Check in with your body periodically, the forehead and the eyes, jaw, back of the neck and shoulders, heart center, stomach area. Allow the body to be relaxed so the breath can move freely. And then begin to let the exhalation extend a little bit longer than the inhalation. If you're counting to three right now, for instance, you could start counting to four. Four on the exhale and then three on the inhale. Same easy, smooth pattern and rhythm of the breath. When that feels like there's no effort, then you could extend it to five or six.
And when you're extending the exhalation, just allow the breath to continue a little bit longer on the exhale. So no squeezing of the stomach muscles to squeeze the breath out. Just when you feel like the breath is finished its exhalation, let it continue just for another beat and then come into the inhalation. Smooth, continuous flow of the breath. Our awareness focused on the breath. If the mind wanders off, just bring it back. Refocus your attention. Letting the exhalation be up to twice as long as the inhalation with this smooth, continuous flow of breath. Being also aware of the space in which all of this is being seen, the space of the body, the space of awareness. The act of observing or witnessing of the breath of the body from head to toes. Allow yourself to completely relax head to toes. Focus your awareness on the flow of the breath. Allowing the breath to have those qualities of smooth and even. That continuous breath. And allow the breath, if you can, without effort, allow the breath to be at least six seconds on the exhalation. Exhaling one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can continue this two to one breathing as long as you like. 
when you come out of it, make a gradual transition now by bringing your attention to the breath on more of an even rhythm. So at whatever, whatever your inhalation count is, bring your exhalation to match that. So if you're inhaling to a count of three, let your exhalation also be to a count of three. Keep those same qualities of smooth and even. That continuous flow of the breath and our attention on the breath. Notice your body again from head to toes. Notice what your experience is now. Touch back into that space of awareness the witnessing of the breath and of the body. If you're in Shavasana and you're lying on your back, you could roll over onto your left side with your knees bent and supporting your head with your arm. Give yourself a moment to breathe in that position and then when you're ready, coming up and opening your eyes. <laughs>